The experiment comprised of three major assignments, the first being the sample preparation, followed by the preparation of steroid hormone standards, and lastly, the quantitative determination of steroid hormones in a sample. The first step of assignment 1 was accurately weighing 0 0.200 grams of the cream. Using a 50 ml beaker, the cream was dissolved using 8 ml of methanol. Ultrasonification was used to ensure that all the cream is well dissolved in methanol.
The cream was transferred into a 10 ml volumetric flask. A small amount of methanol was used and swirl in the 50 ml beaker to ensure that all of the cream has been transferred. Next, the volumetric flask was topped up to the 10 ml mark with methanol by using a dropper. The cream sample was filtered using a 0.45 micrometer filter kit into a 2 ml sample vial, ready for injection. The hydrocortisone standard was injected into the HPLC. The retention time for hydrocortisone was recorded. These two steps were repeated with testosterone and progesterone respectively. The cream sample prepared earlier was also injected after the three standards.
Its retention time was also recorded. By comparing the retention times of the standards with that of the sample, we have concluded that the steroid hormone present in the cream was hydrocortisone. Moving on to assignment 2, it is important to condition the pipette with the hydrocortisone stock solution before usage. To prepare a 100 mg per liter standard, 1 ml of hydrocortisone stock solution was pipetted into a 10 ml volumetric flask. A dropper was used to top up the flask to the 10 ml mark with methanol. This entire step was repeated with 2 ml, 3 ml and 4 ml of hydrocortisone stock solution to prepare its respective standard solutions. All four volumetric flasks were inverted repeatedly to ensure the contents were mixed thoroughly. Subsequently, the content of each volumetric flask were filtered through a 0.45 micrometer filter kit into a 2 ml sample vial. Before the start of the analysis, students were to identify and understand the functions of mobile phase, stationary phase, injection port, and detector of the HPLC. Moving on to assignment 3, in order of increasing concentration, the four filtered standards were injected consecutively at about 9 minutes interval. The retention time and peak area of each standards were measured and noted down.
after the experiment, a calibration graph of peak area versus concentration was plotted for the quantitative determination of the steroid hormone present in the cream sample.